Hello and welcome back to another Transformers video. Today we're going to be starting uh, Golden Gears. I was just making sure I have my best bots on the team. And we're doing part one down a road. Commander, I'm afraid I have complicated and controlling tasks for you to carry out. You know how our timeline is more of a time looping scribble made while falling down several hills? Well, Teletran is detecting that a few major timeline incidents that should occur are not occurring, and you need to help. But here's the catch there's one big event to go to first. An event so big it's eclipsing other events. We need to make it happen, even if we don't like it. And by we, I mean you need to ensure that Galvatron sends back a golden disc to a past version of Megatron. That sounds like, uh, what happened in Transformers Kingdom. But good news, our comms are also having interference, so I can communicate to the Autobots what your mission is. I call that good news because if I say what kind of news it really is, Teletran censors my language in this broadcast. Okay. Well, it looks like we're betraying the Autobots. And making sure that the gold disc will get to Megatron. Honestly, this does kind of, I feel like it supports my theory. I haven't really said my theory yet, which is that the Dinosaur Megatron would be the next bot added. Because they mentioned him in the Purple Rain slide. Now with this uh, golden disc kind of thing, which is like that one uh, part of Transformers Kingdom, I think it supports my theory more. Okay, looks like we're fighting Transformers. The annoying. Okay, that wasn't the best fight, so let's just go on to the next one. Definitely going a lot better. Oh, got that hit off. How disappointing. It's always annoying when, like, you hit them, but they also hit you back, and you don't get the perfect score. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot that Rhinox has, like, not that much help. Even though he looks chunky. Rhinox isn't that chunky.
doing today. Probably should have switched top at this at this point, but it doesn't matter. That overlock is so annoying. It already did like eight percent. Forgetting about it. At least we covered a little bit of health. Basically, just make sure that the disc gets made and goes back in time. It's not our favorite thing, but it kind of unravels time if it doesn't happen. Marissa, Commander, do you realize you've been communicating on an open channel? Yes. Guess that interference cleared right up. But if the whole team knew that was go what was going on, I assume you're here to help. Far from it, I have assembled an emergency squad to cease any and all further time manipulation. See, this is really a logistical problem, or this is really a logistical problem then, because the real manipulation would be changing time, not ensuring it. Active participation would count as manipulation in my book. Ah, it seems we have a real time trolley issue here. Figure out if we change the timelines at all. Figuring out if we change the timelines at all. Okay. I'm not familiar with anyone by the name of Time Trolley, but if they are part of this plan, I shall shut them down too. Well, it's time to beat up Ultra Magnet. And he has a vape ring. Not my favorite. Well, that was really easy. Never mind. At least, at least he didn't evade that one thing. Uh, that one far range attack I did, even though I did it up close. Okay, well that's the end of this video here. See you next time. Bye!